This is a marvelous film, you know. Marvelous. I think I've seen it before, have I? What's that? I said, I have a feeling this film's been on TV before, hasn't it? Probably. Uh, I think it was on last Christmas. Ah. As a matter of fact, I think it's on every Christmas. It's very old. Yeah. He's dead now, that one there. Yeah. Found him. He's definitely dead. Died not long ago. And her? Oh, yeah, she's dead. She's been dead for years. Yes. I can remember her dying. I don't know about this chap. No. I could be wrong. I think I read somewhere he's in a home. Alcoholic. Oh, dear. <laughs> Damn fine film, though, even if they are all dead. <laughs> Now do as Papi tells you and go to sleep. Go to sleep. Uh. Bernard? All right, if I put these. With the others? Of course. We're going to do the usual thing. Give the kids their stockings tomorrow morning with some little things and uh, save the big presents till Boxing Day. Right, yes. That's, uh. That's best. Yeah. Bang! Look at that. Blown up to smithereens. Ought to have the kids down to watch this just up their street. Now, next time you do one of your shows for them, Bernard, take my tip. Put a bit of blood in it. They'll love it. Oh, hardly. Oh, for God's sake, get them used to real life, man. You're a doctor. You ought to appreciate that. Give them some guts. I'm sorry. We don't agree, Harvey. We really don't. Boom! There goes another one. We never have. It's a vicious spiral. You introduce children to violence in adults, and the next thing you know... Well, I'll tell you this. Imitating them. I'll tell you what I've given them all for Christmas, and I'm not ashamed to say so. I've given them all a gun. Uh, all except Gary, who's got a crossbow because he had a gun last year. Uh, but Lydia, Katie, Flora, and Zoe, they're not getting any of your wee-weeing dollies and nurses' uniforms from me. They've all got guns, so they are. Well, I'm sorry. I think that's irresponsible. And if I were a parent... But you're I not, would... Bernard, you're not. And that's your trouble. You've got no kids and you don't know a bloody thing about them. I'm not arguing, Harvey. I'm not arguing. Mm. We have this discussion every Christmas and I'm not going to be drawn into it again. We beg to differ. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. I don't want any of that, please. The holiday's only just started and I can do without that. I should speak to Harvey, not me. Uh, wait till you see what I've got you for Christmas. Me? Yes, you. What? Uh-huh. Something to wake your ideas up, you'll see. <laughs> if it's another of your awful jokes, I'd prefer not to have it. Bernard, Phyllis wants you in the kitchen. Is she all right? Well, she seems to be. There's a lot of steam and groaning, but I think she's coping. I'd better see what she wants. You all right, Harvey? Oh, Belle, look at this. Watch this bit. I've seen this before. Oops, there he goes. That's a what? Ooh, that's a 60 foot fall. That sensational. Haven't you got a drink yet? Uh, no. Well, where the hell's Neville? He was fetching us all a drink an hour ago. What were you having? A small ginger wine, please. Ginger wine, still in training. Like to keep fit, you know, Bill. I'll have a drop of wine at dinner. If we get it. Phyllis is out there in the throne. Oh, good God, drunk in charge of an oven. I don't know what. They haven't gone out, have they? Nev? Where are you, Nev? Shh. Patty, I'm sorry. Are they asleep? All except Gary. Is Eddie down there? Well, he's probably wherever Neville is, but I've lost Neville. If they've gone to the pub... Will you ask Eddie to come up? Gary won't go to sleep till he sees Eddie. OK. Would you like a drink? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, a drink. Lovely. Why not? Well, what would you... Bernard, is Ned in the kitchen? No, just Phyllis. Are you all right? You look pale. No, I think it's flour. Flour? Cornflour. Phyllis dropped a tin of cornflour. It flew up in the cloud. It's all right. It's under control. Oh, yes. It was just a little dizzy spell. She's over it. She's coping. Don't worry. Look, if she'd rather I carried on for her... Uh, no, no, no. She's all right, really. It's good she's doing this. It really is. Not if she's fainting all over my kitchen. 
But now I find every single claim they make can be taken with a huge pinch of salt, and that includes their frequency response details, which are pie in the sky to start with, because I have personally tested every single speaker of theirs we've ever had in stock, and they've got to be joking. Really? Really? This is all Never Never Land and Hello Hong Kong, I can tell you. No. Why have you been? My darling. Have you any more of this? We are awash. Oh, where is it? Out the back. Can you fetch it to me? My pleasure. And would you also do all those lovely drinks you promised everyone half an hour ago? Of course, of course. Otherwise, I'll never get this tree done. It's a ginger wine for Uncle Harvey and a something or other she didn't say for Pappy. Righto. Pappy never knows. Don't bother asking her. And she also wants you up there. Right. Eddie, could you do this while I get some more of this, please? Fine. Uh, I'll have a scotch. Fine. And some ice. Hey! You're missing a first-rate shark fight in here. Oh, dear. Killer sharks. Where's the reception down there? Eddie. Hello. Patty wants you. What do you want? What do you want, she said. Can he come up? Can you come up, she said. In a minute. In a minute. Well, Gary won't go to sleep till he sees him. He doesn't believe he's here. Tell him I don't want to stay in this bedroom all night. I want to come down and have a drink. OK. Well, what would you want? Oh. Oh. What's that? Nothing. Trying to find out what she wanted. If she tells you, let me know, won't you? You've just missed a damn fine shark fight, you lot. What a pity. That's a wonderful bit, too. Nerve's just been showing me his workshop out the back there. Oh, yeah. Got himself nicely set up now, then, eh? Yes. Marvellous. All those power tools. I envy him those power tools. Yes, it's good to see where the money goes. It's all invested in a shed around the back of the house. Ah, oh, don't be like that. Man's got to have a hobby, hasn't he? Well, he just does. He's got to get away, hasn't he? Away from what? Well, uh, everything. Me? I, I didn't say that. That's obviously me. What else? Me and the kids. Well, I'm saying nothing. You take that up with Nev. I would, except I never see him. He's always in his bloody shed. Well, he's got to have a hobby. Uh, Bernard? Phyllis wants to know how many of us there's going to be. I've told her. Nine. I mean, to say this man is definite, you see, this Clive thing man is definitely coming. Well, according to Rachel, he is. She's gone to the station to meet him. Well, she just didn't seem all that certain. Well, uh, he's coming as far as I know. Phyllis, all right, is she? Dropped anything else? <laughs> no, she's... Well, as a matter of fact, she's having a little nosebleed. It's not serious. She's lying down. She'll be fine. Are you sure? Yes. When she felt dizzy, she straightened up too quickly, you see, and banged her head on the cupboard. It's only a nosebleed. <laughs> he made short work of him. Do you want a drink, Bernard? No, no, no. I'd better get all this done first. Thank you, Eddie. You, uh, you're going to be doing your Christmas play again this year, Bernard? What, my puppet show? Oh, yes. On Boxing Day, as usual. I think I'm doing it whether I like it or not. It's become rather traditional, hasn't it? Uncle Bernard and his puppets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just occurred to me, Bernard, you know, just a thought. Uh, maybe this year you might be thinking of jazzing it up a bit. I mean... I know it's just a puppet show, and you can't obviously do that much. I mean, with all those strings and so on. But just try making the story a bit more zippy, if you know what I mean. I think the kids would appreciate that. I know our three would. You should see the things they watch on TV these days. You, uh, you don't mind me saying this. Has Harvey put you up to this? No, no. I will continue to do my puppet plays as I wish to do them. And as I know, the children enjoy them. I think you know that I will always accept help with the manipulation, but I will not have people interfering with the content of my plays. I refuse to pander. I will not include gratuitous violence and sex, not for anyone. I will not do that, I'm sorry. You're talking about sex, I didn't mention sex. I know exactly what you're talking about, don't worry. I don't know why you bring sex into now it. I thought as a parent you might have been a little more responsible. All right, all right, I did not speak. I never spoke. I'm disappointed, that's all I can say, I'm disappointed. Now, what's going on? All I did was mention his puppet show. Well, he's very touchy, especially after last night. Maybe, maybe, but somebody's got to tell him. I mean, if he does another show like last year, the kids will mutiny. Gary threatened not to come at all. And yours has so much scenery. It takes hours just changing the scenery, and then it always falls down. Poor Bernard. We'll have to do something. Here we are, Harvey. One glass of lovely ginger. Oh, thank you. Watch this. What are we having for supper? Roast lamb, I think. Come on. Just wondered. Phyllis is lying stretched out on the kitchen table with three yards of kitchen towel stuck up her nose. I just wondered. So long as she's coping. Well, she's obviously been drinking, which is no worse than usual. Well, where'd she get it from? I haven't given her one. Well, I haven't. Oh, hang on. I hope there's some red wine to put in the gravy. <sighs> Look, we really must stop this business of her cooking the Christmas Eve meal, you know. I mean, it's beyond a joke. I mean, all right, I know she's your sister, but all the same. Well, 
is Christmas. I haven't seen this for ages. It's good, this. Marvellous film. Marvellous. Look at him now. That's it. Down he goes. We could do with this chap around Clapham Common. He'd sort the little bastards out, cheers. Cheers. <coughs> What's this? Ginger thing. Ginger ale. Right. I don't want ginger ale. No. Ginger wine, that's what you want. Ginger wine. Right. I mean, I'm not perfect, for heaven's sake, I know that. What? But I do try every day, I try. And nowhere do I try more than with that woman out there in that kitchen. With my dear wife, with Phyllis. I've given everything I have for that woman's health, and I'd give more. I really would, believe me, Neville. Then, what are you talking about? I'm just trying to explain. You don't have to explain to us, Bernard. We know, we've all known, we've seen what you... I have to explain to someone. Sometimes I need to. He's getting worse. Is he going to be in that state all over Christmas? That's my fault, that is. What did you do? I mentioned his puppet show to him. Oh, no, he's not doing another one, is he? Of course. Well, I, for one, shall be out. No. No, I'm sorry. I'm not sitting through another one of those. I'm sorry. Ali Barbar last year was my lot. Forty thieves, and they all came on with ten-minute intervals between them. Neville. No way. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Christmas. Yeah. Thanks very much. I don't get one, then. Oh, I didn't know you wanted one. Well, probably because you didn't ask me. My darling, I'm not psychic. If you'd said something. Well, my darling, you only have to ask me. All right, I'm asking you now. You just have to ask. That's all. Darling, would you like a drink? Darling, would you like a drink? I'm asking you. Then you'd find out, wouldn't you? Would you like a drink, darling? I'm asking you now. Would you like a bloody drink? Yes or no? Yes, please, I'll have a gin. Thank you so, so much. I'll get it. Oh, thank you, Eddie. No, you won't. He'll get it. No, you won't. I'll get it. What's the difference? The difference is you are getting me something for a change. That's the difference. Oh, now then, we don't want to start Christmas like this, do we? Eddie. Are you coming up or aren't you? In a minute. In a minute. All right. I'm doing this, aren't I? We're just getting to the bit with the avalanche, if anyone's interested. That's a super bit. Great. Here we are, Harvey. Try this. Good. I'm putting your drink here for you, darling. Thank you so much, darling. Here, Eddie. I was going to show you this. Oh, yeah. Show me that. Where is he? He wasn't on the train. Oh, no. Wasn't on it? No. Does that mean he's not coming? No idea. He might be on the 8.05. I somehow doubt it. Yes, if he misses 7.30, he'll probably be on the 8.05. If he misses 7.30, he'd have run. Possibly, but then again... It really doesn't matter. If he misses 7.30, he has to no interest to me one way or the other. Well, it is to me after we've spent the whole day clearing that attic out for him. Oh. Lost her writer, has she? Apparently. What does he write, then? Books. Oh, yeah. I've never heard of him. You ever heard of him? No, I've never heard of anybody. His book's by our bed. Why don't you read it? Rachel lent it to us weeks ago. Is it good? I don't know. I've no time to read it, have I? I can't tell you the last time I read a book. I can. You read a quarter of one soft porn novel shortly after we were married, and that's your lot. You've been to the theatre twice. You fell asleep both times. You've been to one open-air jazz festival where we left early because it rained. I've been to the cinema. Oh, yes, I beg your pardon. Mustn't forget that visit. Well, nothing's ever wrong. We don't go out much. We used to go to the disco, but now, with the kids, make your own amusements, don't you? <laughs> look, look. Let me show you this. Watch this. And let there be light. Neville, <laughs> would you not do that? <laughs> do you like it? Very clever. I don't see the point of it. There's a switch down there. So is you bending down. You build that yourself? Yeah, nothing much. Transmitter, a couple of relays, nothing much. Yeah, watch this. And music maestro! Neville! Sorry. The kids are asleep up there. All right. I say, I appear to have lost my film in here. I'm on another channel. Are you? I've got the Russian ballet or something instead. Couldn't have done that. That's funny. Brilliant. Don't know how that happened. Oh, we're just getting to the big chase. I don't want all this prancing about. It must have crossed the signal. There you are, Harvey. <coughs> That's a mystery, that is. Very interesting. Neville, for the last time! Sorry! Just checking. No, seriously, what's the point of that? I know it's very clever, but what is the point of it? It's for the kids. For the kids? You're going to give that to a six-year-old and a four-year-old? They'll love it. You see, you press this button and the lights go on, and you press the other one... Yes, all right, all right. It's going to be terrific, that, isn't it? All Boxing Day, that thing switching on and off and driving us mad. Hand me that, would you? I went in this morning to get Gary this truck he wanted. Cost a fortune. 
And when I tested it this evening, it was totally dust. Oh. Should have known. Everything I buy for them seems to be dust. I'll take a look at it if you like. Oh, thanks. I didn't... Thanks. Oh, hello. You coming or not? Well, Gary won't go to sleep till he's seen you. He's convinced himself now that you're dead. Oh, great. Perhaps if you got a little firm with him occasionally, it might help. If I what? I said, if you got a little... If I what? You heard. If I got a little what? Firm. Did you say firm by any chance? Oh, don't try to be funny, please. Look, I'm a bit worried. This chap could be on the 805. I mean, I think someone ought to meet him. I mean, he could just be stranded there. Someone ought to meet him. Well, I wouldn't know him from Adam. He'll have to deal with Gary. I can cope with the girls, but I can't handle Gary when he's like that. Give Patty a drink. I'm going to. Patty, would you like a drink? Oh, yes, I... Uh... Oh, oh, oh. Bernard! The first aid kit is where? The first aid kit is in the third drawer down to the left of the stove in a big white tin. Right. Bernard, what's happened? Oh, she just... The edges of those saucepans yours are pretty sharp. They're quite dangerous. I'd never cut myself on them. This lamb's going to be very pink, isn't it? No, I don't think I'll have that drink now. I'll wait. Could you pass me that? By your foot. What's that? Bell, you're the one who's mad about sheep dogs, aren't you? Oh, lovely, yes, adore them. Oh, this one's a real beauty. You should see this one. Oh, super, yes, I remember him. Rachel, look, I was saying, I think you ought to meet that 805. I mean, suppose it's really of no interest to me whatsoever. Oh, Rachel, you're back. Yes. How's the baby? Oh, we're coming along. Has he come? This uh, chap of yours? No. He's cutting it a bit fine, isn't he? How do you mean? Well, he's going to miss his dinner in a minute, isn't he? It's nothing whatever to do with me. Oh. Uh, mind you, since it's Phyllis cooking it, that may be to his advantage. I've never known anybody cook lamb like she does. She'll be punishable by law. No, the thing is, I don't really want to have this baby, you know. Why not? I don't know. Four was too many for three, four, what's the difference? Well, I think maybe it's because I know Eddie doesn't really want it. Oh. I think he feels we're just getting his way half the time. He does? Well, I've naturally said so, but I get this feeling. Well, what are you supposed to be getting in the way of? You know, his career and everything. I think he feels he could have done a lot better. Darling, Eddie could have done a lot better if he hadn't had grand ideas about starting up on his own. He should never have left Neville. Well, you know that. Yes, I know, I know. He was an idiot. I know he was an idiot. I told him he was an idiot. So it's no use him blaming you and the kids. He won't be told, though. He is an idiot. It's amazing him and Neville still friends. Oh, well. You never break that up. Now, the chap I'd really like to meet is the chap who wrote this. What? This film. I'd like to meet the writer of this film. He must have a hell of an imagination. Oh, you think somebody actually wrote this? Well, of course somebody wrote it. Oh, you amaze me. Well, what a stupid thing to say. How utterly damn stupid. Well, they'd hardly make it up as they went along, would they? They'd hardly invent the dialogue, would they? I don't know what dialogue you mean. Nobody's said anything for ten minutes. Nobody's talking at all. Of course they're not talking, not at the moment. They're punching each other. Oh, yes. They can't talk while they're fighting, can they? No, true. Well, that was a damn stupid thing to say then, wasn't it? Ah, oh, now, this is good. This bit's marvellous. You watch this fella on the left. Watching him though. Oh, you know, that one they always have on. That one. Look, uh, I'm sorry about earlier. I got heated. I'm sorry. That's all. That's okay, Bernard. What's he talking about? Nothing important. Well, I hope he's not planning another of his puppet shows. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Excuse me. Oh, yes, I remember this. It was brilliant. Marvellous. You're going to try the 805s, are you? Well, I wouldn't want him stranded. It's totally unlikely he'll be on it. He'd have rung or something. He always rings, except when he forgets, of course. He's always losing things, pens, gloves, handkerchiefs. He never has a handkerchief. I mean, it doesn't matter a damn either way. It's just it makes me look a bit of a, well, a bit stupid. Not at all. Still. 38-year-old woman behaving like a teenager, aren't I? Well, if he's not on this train, bugger him. That's what I say. Good luck. Yes. Of course.
wanted a Joan of Arc out there. Dinner should be in about ten minutes. Is she winning? Possibly, but I have to say the leg of lamb is certainly looking the fresher of the two at present. Thought we might try this stuff tonight. The man who was standing in for the regular man at the off-license I don't normally go to was fully prepared to stake his reputation on it, so we could be on to a good thing. It's nice, this, isn't it? For the kids. Kids? Yes. What about them? They're not having any of this. No. I mean, when I went up to say goodnight to Artie earlier, they were so excited. Well, Katie was, anyway. I can remember feeling like that. I was so excited, I just trembled. Then all these surprises all over the house, waiting. It was a really good time, wasn't it? I suppose so. You must have been excited at Christmas, don't you remember? I remember Phyllis crying all night in the room next door. Crying? She was terrified in case Father Christmas got into her room. Can you imagine it? It only happened to Phyllis. Santa phobia. I don't even get any surprises these days. I know what I've got. I went out and bought them, brought them home, wrapped them up, even paid for them out of a joint account. Oh, come on. You might at least have written the label. Darling, it is Christmas time. Happy Christmas, Belinda, or something. To my dear wife, whose face seems faintly familiar or something. It is Christmas time. That's what I'm saying. I don't have to tell you about Christmas time, do I? No, you do not have to tell me about Christmas time. Like it or not, darling, you married a retailer. But if you would like me to tell you about dear Christmas God, time... Dear God, he is now going to tell me about Christmas time. Because if you would like me to tell you... Forget I'd it. I'd be only too happy. Thank you. Just say the word. Shut up. First course coming up. Anyway... I hope I like whatever it is you've bought you. You'll loathe it, I guarantee. Oh, good chance. It was the least I could do. Do I take it? It's all ready, Bernard? Yes. Phyllis is coming through shortly. She says, can everybody please sit down? She's just preparing the gravy. Did you hear that, folks? Food is on the table. Oh, just a minute, just a minute. This is a fight to the death. Oh, yes, I remember this bit. Come on, get him. <clears throat> You'll do anything to stay awake, that Gary. Little monkey. You have to laugh. Come on, everyone. It's on the table. Oh, it's on the table? Right. It's on the table, apparently. Oh, just a sec. Look at bit this. That's right. This is the bit with the waterfall. <laughs> well, I'm hungry anyway. Could you hurry them in there? Or it'll get cold. Where are they all, anyway? Come on, you look. What are you all watching? Look. Oh, this thing. It's not on again, is it? <laughs> oh. Whoops. <laughs> Very good. Not quite. <laughs> Come on, everyone. What are you doing? Sorry, Bernard. Coming. Oh, no! What are you all... Oh, good gracious. He's going to fall off it. <laughs> He's going. There he goes. He's gone. Bravo! Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Phyllis. Well done. Yes, well done, Phyllis. God, I'm starving. That's tremendous entertainment. Oh, I wish I'd seen it all now, really. Well, are we all coming? It's all right. We're coming. We're coming. Don't rush us. We are coming. It'll be cold. It'll be cold if we don't all come now. It's all right. Where's Rachel? Right. Going to the station. Oh, dear. Well, we can't wait, you know. We just can't wait. No, no, no. You go on in, Bernard. I'll come along. We'll come along. <laughs> Why people can't switch things off when they finish is quite beyond me. Mrs. Bunker. Oh, you're, of course, you're, you're the novelist. Come in. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry, but the trains are extraordinary. It must be Christmas Eve. Oh, that's quite all right. Let me take your... Oh, yes, thank you. It's uh, cold. <laughs> yes, it is, yes. I'm afraid Rachel's gone back to meet you. Oh, Lord, that's awful. Uh, well, do you think I no, should... No, 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 she's got the car. She won't be long. Come oh. in, come in. Thank you. It's very good to meet you. I'm, uh, <laughs> How do you do? I'm Clive. Belinda. Belinda. Yes. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you.
mixtures are everywhere. They're everywhere. Yuck. <coughs> Good morning, Bernard. Happy Christmas. Oh, yes, happy Christmas, Belinda. I thought you'd be up earlier than this. You're usually around with the kids. Well... Bad night, was it? Phyllis was up and down, up and down, I'm afraid. Oh, dear. And if she's up and down, of course, then so am I. Yes, well, that's marriage for you, isn't it? She's off like a log now. I'm just going to fetch her a cup of coffee, if I may try and bring her too gently. I think, frankly, that yesterday was just a little bit too much for her, frankly. Yes, well, she's done her bit now. She can just lie back and enjoy life, can't she? <laughs> coffee you wanted, didn't mm. you? This should still be warm. You still eating? I'm just reading this. We got it for Gary. Very good. Yes, this seems okay. I thought I'd spend the rest of this morning unloading. Unloading? The puppets, yes, sir. Oh. I've got it in the back of the estate. Oh, just about. I can put it in the sitting room, can I? Belinda in a corner for now? There's not too much of it, is there, Bernard? Well, it will tuck up quite small if I stack it. Yes. Oh, she takes sugar, doesn't she? Oh. You'd better take this up as well. Thank you. What's your show called this year, then, Bernard? Uh, the Three Little Pigs. Ah. Oh. Bit of a change. Just the three of them, is it? What? Pigs. Yes. Great. Well, and their wives and families, of course. Oh. Now, wait there. No further than that. Not with your boots on. Good morning. Good morning. What sort of thing is this? Happy Christmas. Yes. Eddie, he's in there. Right. Are you still here? Yes. You're going to ruin that before he gets it. It's good. Are you coming, then? Coming? For a walk. We're off for a walk. Now? Yes, now. I've only just got up. Well, that's not my fault. The kids have been up since six. So have I. Well, then you'd go for a walk. Look, Eddie, you said last night you would. Did I? Oh, honestly, Eddie, I've told them you're coming Look, now. I told them I'm not. You tell them. I'm not telling them. You tell them for a change. You tell them you can't be bothered to go for a walk with them. You'd sooner sit there reading comic books. Oh, Patty, just go for a walk if you're going. Go on. Leave me alone this morning, please. Go on! And you've got to stop reading that as well. Give it back. It's supposed to be for Gary. It's not yours. I bought it for Gary. Patty, give it to me, please. No, I'm wrapping it for Gary. Patty, you will make me do something I will really regret in a minute. Now put the bloody book back on the table. No! Patty, I'll... I really will. I shall do something. I really will. In a minute, I really will. Yeah, well, it won't be the first time, will it? I really will. Yes, right. Just going to start unloading. Excuse me, Patty, you're wanted. What? There's a tiny deputation out there asking for you. Oh, yes. Where were you at 6 30, you swine? Asleep. <laughs> Nobody else down yet? No. Our author's still in his attic. I haven't seen him. They prefer them, you know, authors. Attics. Do they? Well, so I read. And they probably wrote it, didn't they? <laughs> no Rachel either? No. Oh, were they, uh... No, I shouldn't think so. No. Not Rachel. I can't imagine it. Do you think she does ever? Let's say, not to my knowledge. I can't imagine it. No. Still, could be wrong. Look at Bernard and Phyllis. Quite. Mind you, we've only got their word for it, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, please. Perhaps you'd like to look at this, please. It doesn't work. It didn't work when you bought it, and if you can't get it to work now, then you'd better throw it away. Because if Gary opens that tomorrow and it doesn't work, it'll break his heart. All right? Right. See you later, then. Good morning. How's your brisk walk to the village when they open? You're on. Just quick, pine, get out of their way. Good idea. What you got there? Ah, it's not working. Oh, dear. Nothing I buy ever does work. 400 of them on the shelves, 399 in perfect order, and in I come. I'll have to take it back. What's up with them? Oh, could be a loose connection, I suppose. Possibly, possibly. Easy find out, can't we? Yeah. Batteries okay, are they? Oh, yeah. I 
I'm just loading my stuff in there. Oh, yeah. For my play, I won't disturb you. Right. The three little pigs. Oh, yeah. Just the three of them, is it? Yes. Are you ready? It just occurred to me. It's something for you to ponder. What's that? Look, I know you left the firm for good reasons. You wanted to start on your own, and good luck. Nobody minded, and we've stayed friends through it all. Let's face it, Eddie. Things haven't worked out, have they? Well... So, and this is between us. Nobody else, all right? We're going to open a third branch, right? Another? Yeah. Where? Let's say not uh, 20 miles south of here. Oh, you mean... Right. Where? Main Street, OK? Boots the chemist on the corner here before it moves, right? Yeah. Then there's the dry cleaners and the delicatessen on the other corner. Right? By the, uh... Oh, right. On the other side of... <laughs> you got it, you got it. How did you get that? Signed yesterday. They were all after that. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So, as I say, we shall shortly be needing a third manager and a full staff. Need I say more? Well... Just think about it, over the festivities. I must know by the new year, right? Yeah. Yes. Look, I'm just going to put this on the bench, check it over. I won't be a sec. Right. Oh, you, you don't need to go to any... Uh, this is a challenge, this is. You know me. I like a challenge. Oh. Note number two. Oh. Sweets. Why they can't put them in their ugly little mouths instead of all over my floor? And Bernard, will you not leave the front door open, please? We have the central heating on a full blast. Thank you. <sighs> Has he just left this? Huh? This cutlery. Has he just left this half done and walked away? Oh, yes, I think he... Neville! Have you just left this half done and walked away? Oh, damn it! Why can't you do one thing? One little tiny thing to help? That's all I've asked him to do the entire holiday. Look, it's okay. No, no, I'll... no! Sit down. You ought to leave everything there exactly as it is. Do you hear me? You're not to touch a thing. Yeah, no. no. That is Neville's job. That is Neville's single solitary job for the whole holiday period. That's Neville's job for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, right up until New Year's Day. That is all Neville has to do, that. Just put away a few knives and forks. And he is bloody well going to do it! Yes, OK. Oh, good morning. Morning. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you, yes. You must be ready for breakfast. Oh, no, no, really, thank you, no. Uh, I'm still rather full of lamb, actually. <laughs> yes, it was rather filling. It's the way fillers go. Oh. Coffee, then. Do you like coffee? Oh, we usually have the main Christmas dinner about five, so the kids can join us. It's a bit of a mad house. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say no to that. Right. This will be cold. I'll make some fresh. Wait there. Right, look, please, don't go to any trouble. Wait there. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Write any more books during the night, did you? Uh, no, no, afraid not, no. <laughs> If you want any tips, any ideas for books, you've come to the right place. Oh, yeah? If you're stuck, come to me. I can give you some ideas. Oh, right. Well, I will. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Merry Christmas. How's you? I'm just unloading. Ah. I do these little puppet shows, you know, every year for the children. A little treat, nothing spectacular. I write them myself. <laughs> Make all the bits and pieces. That's marvellous. Not that I call myself a writer. I'm not in the same bracket as yourself. Oh, you never know. You keep going. I do it purely for love. I'd never dream of making money out of it. Ah. Good morning. Morning. Excuse me. Sunny but brisk. Really? Oh, you have to keep moving. One of those days. <laughs> Just been to church. Have you? Pay my respects, you know. I like to go once a year. That's all, just in case. Keep the options open there. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Good morning. Oh, good morning. 
want a tip? What's that? If ever you're taken ill, struck down, catch a virus, have an accident, break a leg or something, you know, if anything ever happens to you in that line and you're in need of a doctor, yes? then for Pete's sake, steer clear of him. Really? The worst doctor in the world. He's a total washout. He sent people to their graves convinced that they were critically ill when in fact they were perfectly fit. He's pronounced people A1 and they've dropped dead in his waiting room on the way out. Very poor doctor with a second class brain. Don't go near him, he's lethal. You've seen his wife. What's Phyllis? Phyllis, <laughs> mind me, see what he's done to her. Oh, she always was peculiar, mind you know. She's completely loopy. She drinks like a fish, too. Oh, he ought to be struck off before he does any more damage. Excuse me, please. Oh, what's all that? Just my theatre. Oh, God. Dozy little sob. <laughs> Wait till he sees what I got him for Christmas. What's that? Oh, something to wake his ideas up. The biggest alarm clock you've ever seen. Alarm like a fire bell. Got it second hand, slightly faulty. Goes off without the slightest warning. <laughs> oh, I always find something. Last year, I gave him a box of maroon, set one off in his bedroom. <laughs> I ran back from church. Would you believe that? Right. Oh, I still keep fit, you know. 37 years with a security firm, you see. Wait. Fighting <clears throat> the bastards on the streets most of the time. Clubs, ammonia, pickaxe sandals, pepper, socks full of sand. Excuse me. Not that you can ever stop it. Not on your own. It's an irreversible process. Oh, it's all coming apart, you know. The whole fabric ripping like tissue paper. One day we'll wake up, if we wake up at all, that is, and our so-called civilization will have vanished overnight. And you can put that in your book. Here. Here. Feel that. Now, go on, put your hand there. What's that feel like to you? Well, I... About 65 years old, that is. Next year, would you believe that? <laughs> I'm ready. You come up against me, matey. You'll come up against that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, what do you make of that? That's a balanced, bone-handled, razor-sharp throwing knife, that is. There's six inches of Sheffield still there. You give me trouble, I can have this out of its sheath and across the room and stick in between your shoulder blades before you can turn round. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, yes, yes, you look ready. Yeah, I've got a gun upstairs as well. Put six of those in you while I'm at it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Put that in your book. Oh, my God, look at all this junk here. The man's mad. He's a complete lunatic. Now then, uh, 12.48. Just in time for the eight, man, eh? <laughs> He's mad, do steer clear of him. He's completely mad. He's almost certifiable, really. Sorry I've been so long. Oh, that's all right. I had to make some fresh. Oh. Now, where would you... Uh... Oh, well, you can have a dark beer, can't you? I'll keep you company. The kitchen's a bit of a mess at the yeah. moment. I have to... You don't take sugar. No, no, thank you. Fine. Thanks. Oh, please, sit down. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes, for you, I forgot. Thank you. How lovely. Surprises. Oh, it's just a box of chocolates and some scotch. Oh. Ah. Just to say thank you for looking after me. How lovely. All for me. Well, uh, I did think one of them might be for your husband. No, that's all right. I can manage both. That's fine. <laughs> I can't work out if I'm nervous of you because you're a writer or nervous of you because you're famous. Well, if it's any help, I'm not all that famous. You're not? <laughs> well, I'm hardly a household name, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. You know, I felt awful because I'd never heard of you. You see, the way Rachel went on, I really thought I ought to have heard of you, and I felt terribly guilty because I do try to keep up. I, I read all the bits on the Sundays and all that sort of thing, but even that's terribly difficult. I mean, there are so many of you, aren't there? <laughs> Names to watch, I mean. Every week there's another dozen. The most exciting since, the best since, the most promising since so-and-so. And occasionally, it's really awful because I've never even heard of so-and-so. <laughs> and at one time, honestly, I used to write down all the names and try and learn them so I'd remember them when they cropped up again. But then half of them never did crop up again, so there I was, stuck with a load of 
useless names that nobody had ever heard of. Like an out-of-date phone book. All the same, I think one really does have to try and make the effort. Take an interest, don't you? I mean, especially someone like me. <laughs> Otherwise, I think I'd just die, really. Well, um, in the probable words of a Sunday newspaper, I'm clearly the funniest new novelist to arrive this year, and the welcome young face to the literary scene that we soon hope to hear more of. My book, which is entitled Now Pull the Other One, is currently number 17 in the bestseller list, which is admittedly pretty good for a hardback, but could be better. Briefly, it's the story of a young man who, at a tender age, plunges into marriage, kids, and divorce, and comes out the other side, um, a little bit wiser. It's been described as wittily painful, or painfully witty, I forget which. <laughs> but <laughs> really, you know, it's, um, it's one of those books that got written as therapy when I sat down and tried to get the whole marriage thing out of my system, which I have. And that makes me rather lucky, really, because I think a lot of people during the course of their lives need to do that, but very few of them expect to make a lot of money out of it like I have. <laughs> I see. So, <laughs> now you don't need to read it either. Oh, no, I've started it. I've not got very far, I'm afraid. Well, no, actually. I haven't got anywhere. Never mind. <laughs> well, <coughs> if you'll yes. excuse me, I'd better put away all those noons and sporks. Rather knives and sports. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm being quite so stupid just because you're a writer. I'm not usually like this, honestly. I'm normally much more interesting, honestly. Well, um, perhaps if you stopped thinking of me as a writer and just thought of me as an ordinary uh, common or garden basic man instead, that would help. Oh, uh, no. Frankly, no. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. Oh, hello. 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 Happy Christmas. What are you doing out here? Just having coffee. Well, it's an odd place to have coffee, isn't it? In the hall. Oh, I don't know. Will it? Uh, yes. Thank you. I must get on. Are we going out, then? Oh, yes, yes. I told you you'd regret it in the morning, making rash promises after large meals. <laughs> it's lovely out. Huh? Sunny, but a bit chilly. I thought I'd take you through the farm. Do you mind farms? No. I love visiting the cows. I adore cows, don't you? Actually, I prefer them to horses. Then I thought, if you like, we could walk down as far as the village. Might even have a drink if you fancied it, then back round the other way along the river. It's not as far as it sounds. Oh, lovely, lovely. Did you sleep? Wonderful. You look a bit shattered. You did what we could with that attic, but I'm afraid it's still an attic. You were warm enough? Yes, very. Oh, good. They were a bit short of bedding. I lugged some of my stuff down from the flat. Oh, look, I'd have to ask you. I promised I would. If you'd say no, would you be Father Christmas this year on Boxing Day for the kids? We always try to get someone they're least likely to recognise, though they always <laughs> do. You can easily say no if you hate the idea. No, no, it's something I've always desperately wanted to do. <laughs> Visitors chore, I'm afraid. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, um... Let's go, shall we? Right. Coats. Lead on. Are those your only shoes? Oh, yes. Hell. Hang on, I think they have boots upstairs. In fact, I know they do. Wait there. Okay. You sure you're all right? Yes, of course. Yes, I have a feeling I should have got up a bit earlier this morning for some reason. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't go away. Nearly there. Good. Look, I was just thinking, if you're going for walks around here, you'll need boots. Oh, Rachel's just... Here. Rachel's just fetching me some. Rachel? Yes, yeah, she just went upstairs to get some. Oh, there's none up there. Here, have these. They're nerves. They should oh, fit. Right, oh, thanks. <laughs> oh. oh, and I brought you a scarf, in case you haven't got one. It's mine, so please don't lose it. There, I knew there were some in the attic. I saw them when we were... Uh... Oh. I've lent him nerves. Sorry. Oh, well, wasted journey, wasn't it? God knows whose those are. Probably belong to the builders. I'll take them out the back. Are those okay for you? Oh, yes, fine. Right. Thanks. Perfect fit. Off we go, then. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wait, here. Oh. What's that? 
It's a scarf for Clive. He doesn't need a scarf. Yes, he does. It's cool. That's your scarf. Yes, I know, dear, but I'm not going out, am I? You can't wear that. Why not? It's a woman's scarf. You can't wear a woman's scarf. It's not a woman's scarf. It's just a scarf. You look extraordinary. Well, Rachel, don't be idiotic. I'm not being idiotic. I just refuse to be seen going out with a man dressed in a woman's scarf. I'm sorry. Oh, Rachel, for God's sake. No, it's all right. Really, I don't need a scarf. I've gone off the whole idea of a scarf. Okay, suit yourself. Oh, do come on if you're coming. Well, uh, goodbye then. <laughs> goodbye. See you later. Yes. Keep warm. Yes, I will. What are you doing? I'm trying to fix this. What is it? Eddie's present for Gary. You see, they're actually wired it so it shorts out every time you switch on. It's disgraceful. Where are you off to? Oh, nowhere. You look like you're going out. I'm afraid not. Not able to. We might pop out in a minute, Eddie and me, for a pint. Thought you might. Well. Nev. Hmm. Nev. Hmm. I'd say on the whole, we'd stayed a very happy couple, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you look at some of our friends. <laughs> I mean, I know we have rows, but all the same, I don't know anyone who seems to be happier than us, of our age. Younger couples sometimes, but not always. I think we could both say, without any false modesty, that we're still very much in love, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, I would. Mm. I know it's a difficult thing to define love. I mean, obviously, it's not like it used to be. But then who would expect that after eight and a half years? Well, perhaps we're not so passionate, but we're still in love, mm? aren't we? Yeah. And I definitely think there are other things more important, more lasting than passion, than companionship, and sharing the same jokes and familiarity. Sure. I mean, maybe love's too strong a word to use. Perhaps it's friendship I'm talking about. We're still friends. That's what I mean. True. And there really can be a friendship between a man and a woman. <laughs> maybe not friends like you and, say, Eddie, or between me and some woman friend. I don't think a man and a woman could ever get that close. No, not as friends. <laughs> but we still definitely have something, don't we? I mean, apart from sharing the same house and the same children. Oh, we must have. Yes. Yes, I'd say that was very true. What is? What you said. Look, I'd better go and get that drink in. You'll be all right, will you? Yes. Yeah. Cheer up, then. Lovely? Yes. That's what I like to hear. Eddie, we're off. You coming? Okay. I think I'll trace the fault on that. Oh, terrific. We're just going to the pub. Oh, super. Super! That's the lot. All unloaded. Ah. Look. See? The big bad wolf, see? <laughs> Better be careful or he'll huff and he'll puff and he'll blow your house down, eh? <laughs> Now, dear. Bottles. Get one for me, will you? 
No, no. Hot water bottle. <laughs> he said one for me. I thought he meant bottles too. <laughs> Are these cups finished? Oh, yes, they're finished. Whose turn? Mine. Uh, Price turn. Now then, six, six, six. Does she want a hand out then? We've done it all now. Too late. I'm fetching the bottles now. Uh, well, we'd have lend a hand. She didn't have to do it all. It's too late. I'm fetching the bottles now, dear. Well, I'm afraid I'm not doing a thick drop this evening. Quite right. Quite right. I did everything last night. It's someone else's turn. Well, you didn't clear up last night, because I did. And who cooked it, child? Who cooked that lovely lamb you were eating? All right, dear, all right. Look, are we not playing or not? you didn't. Yes. All I'm saying I'll take those out, Patty. I'll take those out. Thank you. Right, I'm having a turn. There's uh, more to a meal than just cooking, one, you know. One, two... All three, right, four, next year I shan't cook a thing. We'll leave it all to you, shall we? Since it's me. Yes. See how you no. get on, little Miss Know-all. <laughs> See how she gets on, shall we? <laughs> Silly old bag. One. Eddie! Eddie! Oh, Nonsense. Has Eddie gone to bed? Oh, no, I think he's in the other room, sleeping it off. But I wasn't looking. <laughs> Eddie, wake up. Oh, I thought you'd gone to bed. No. We all thought you'd gone to bed. Oh, why doesn't he ever learn? He gets like this about once a month. He goes on the beer, and then you never know when he'll be back or who he is. Do you mean he brings other women home? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. No, you know, his mates. Got a lot of mates. They've all got wives who aren't as soft as I am. Can Bill sleep on our sofa, please, because he's too frightened to go home to his missus, you know. You just have to keep shaking him like this. He wakes up after a bit. I'd pick him up by his hair if I were you. Oh, no, you can't be too rough with him. He's only sick over you. Eddie! Eddie. He's very nice, isn't he, your Clive? He's a bit quiet when you first meet him, but he warms up. Yes. I expect he's quiet because he's busy remembering things for his book. But he's very nice. He's got nice eyes. No, he's all right, your Clive. He really mustn't refer to him as my Clive. He's not my Clive. Well, you know what I mean. Eddie. I'm not sure he cares to be known as my Clive, either. Poor man accepts an invitation from some writer's circle and suddenly finds himself saddled with the secretary. That's too polite to say, go away to her, that's all. Three awful dinners in three awful restaurants because I'm not even capable of putting together a decent meal for us, and that's our lot. So you can see, can't you, it really isn't anything serious. I'm sure he's wondering how on earth he came to be here. Well, he came anyway, didn't he? Oh, yes. And now he's here, I'm sure he's delighted he came, but I don't flatter myself that's anything to do with me. Eddie, Eddie. So... Look, I don't know a lot about these things, mind you, but it seems to me if you want something badly, you have to fight a bit. Oh, God. You do? I had to fight for this. I did. I mean, you may not believe it now, but there were about four of us after him. Well, we didn't really fight. It was all very polite, really. But I knew damn well I was going to get him, and I did. Poor old Eddie didn't know a thing about it. Still, he's got his own back now, hasn't he? Come on, Eddie. Up's a daisy. Mm. You're going to have to walk, love. Yeah. yeah. I can't carry you, you see, not when I'm like this. I can walk. I can walk. Did I tell you the news? No, you haven't told me any news. Do you want to hear my news? Yes, I'd like to hear it very much. You've got the stairs now, Eddie. Careful how you go. I'm going to be a manager. Shop manager. Yes! No. Oh, yes. Manager of what? Of a shop. I said, of a shop. Yes, but what shop, Eddie? Neville's shop. No! No! Hard luck! Not next, the manager, Eddie. He doesn't want another one. He's opening a new shop. He's opening a new one. He told me he's opening a new sh shop. Don't you believe me? Don't you believe me? Oh, yes, I think I do, Eddie. I think I do. Now, quietly now, move with the kids. Quietly now. Don't move the kids. I won! I won! I'm the champion snaker of a leather of all time. Cheat, cheat, cheat. Nonsense. You mm. tell him I wasn't cheating. Just absolutely disgraceful behaviour. <laughs> Absolutely disgraceful behavior. <laughs> I love this man. I adore him. Absolutely disgraceful behavior. <laughs> Say it again. Absolutely disgraceful behavior. <laughs> Anybody about? <laughs> Anybody about?
they've all gone to bed. Oh, God, I'm drunk. <laughs> Can't remember where the kitchen is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Bernard. You're looking well, mate. Yes? You... Is my wife along there, is she? Yes, she's just finishing off. Ah, oh, good old Belinda. Good old Bell. She's always somewhere just more finishing off. <laughs> Do you say a lot of witty things? Oh, yes. Most of the things I say are extremely witty. God, that's wonderful. Wherever I go, people are generally rolling around all over the floor. Gracious. <laughs> Dearest. And that's what makes you a wonderful novelist, of course. Dearest. I'm off now. Jolly good. I've got the bottles. You won't be too long, will you? Well, I just want to talk to this gentleman, dear, about his book. Well, look, perhaps no, he's no, going no. to... No, no, no. I want to talk to you. Don't be too long, will you, dear, or you'll be up and down again. Good night. Yes. Good night, then. Good night. My husband's a doctor, you know. He's a brilliant doctor. Oh, yes. But he sacrificed the whole of his career to try and cure me. Isn't that an amazing story? <laughs> you know, when you write your next book, you think you'll write a book about my husband. Well, there's a story there to be written. There really is. A man who gives up everything for the woman he loves. Isn't that a wonderful story? Oh, yes. Good. I'm going to tell you something really awful now. Oh? Now, you won't be shocked. I'm off to bed now. Good night. Oh, good night. Well, sit down. You don't have to get up because he comes in. Glass of water. Drink a lot of water. Last thing at night, you don't get a hangover. Don't get much sleep either, but you don't get a hangover. Switch off in here when you're through with it. Yes, I will. Night, night. Night, night. Hey, do you know? <coughs> oh, this is the awful thing. <sighs> do you know? I haven't read your book. Isn't that awful? God, I'm drunk. Are you shocked? No, no. Really? Not at all, no. No. Um, see, I'm probably the only person who has read it, actually. And I had to because they kept on sending me the proofs. <laughs> no, look, I don't mind if you've not read it, so long as you've bought it. Oh, Rachel's read it. Forgot about Rachel. Oh, yes, poor Rachel. Well, she reads everything. Nothing else to do. <laughs> now, I want you to teach me all about English literature. What, now? Please, now. <laughs> It's now or never. <laughs> well, I realize I'm so ignorant. I'm 39 years old. Well, I, I know you wouldn't think that, but I'm 39 years old, and I want to know all about English literature before it's too late. <laughs> well, um, look, see, I'm really not that much of an expert. Well, let's start with you. What about you? Well, uh... You see, I'm dying to know. Where do your books come from? Are all those books up there, then, waiting to come out? <laughs> books. What? Only one book. I've only written one book. Yeah, I don't understand that. Tell me about you, then. Um, well, uh, where do I start? Um, well, my parents... Are you a homosexual, for instance? Uh, no, 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 I'm not. No. <laughs> That's a relief. A lot of them are, aren't they? Writers. Homosexuals. Well, I, I, I don't know, I suppose. Uh, there's a proportion that are, but then there's a proportion in most professions. I mean, probably no more than there are, say, um, well, train drivers. What? Train drivers. What are? Homosexuals. Are they? No. My God, I never knew that. No, look, that's not what I'm saying, then. I mean, my God, those are great big machines, those trains. <laughs> Good night, then. I'm off to bed. Oh, this man's just been telling me extraordinary things about train drivers. Really? <laughs> Heavens. Would you switch off when you go up, please? Uh, you can leave the table lamp on in the hall, just these and the landing lights, OK? Yes, we know. Good night, then. Good night. Good night. Here you are, you were saying. Look, everyone oh, does you seem to have gotten better. You see, what I'm dying to ask you is, if you were a homosexual, do you think it would make any difference to the way you wrote? <laughs> what, uh, do you mean would I hold the pen slightly differently? <laughs> no, I don't understand that. You know, you're 
a very difficult man to get through to. You know that. <laughs> Are you a shy person? Well, um, I have heard myself yes, described. I want to show you something. Now they're all in there. What? Quick, quick. Yes, Come yes, with well, me. I'll just get my jacket. <laughs> Yes, I, I'm sorry. We were just having a look at some presents. Just having a look at some presents. May I remind you there are also youngsters up here? Youngsters up here? Yes. I'd be obliged. Obliged. Who's that there? Is that Phyllis? Yes. Is she all right? Yes, I think so, yes. I should get to bed. Things tend to start early on Boxing Day. Good night. Good night. All right. What do you think he thought we were doing? <laughs> yes, I tried to think. Look, we really ought to get to bed, you know. Yes, look at all this. Yes, don't worry about this. I'll, I'll wrap it all up again. You go off to bed. Uh, you're sure? Yes, yes. Go on, off you go. Bye-bye, sir. Bye-bye. Bonsoir. Yes. Uh, uh, buenos noches. Yes. Uh, gute Nacht. <laughs> just thought you'd gone to bed. Excuse me. I was just going to sleep, and I know I've left the oven on. No, I've been sitting in there and thinking things through. No, thought I had. Hadn't. Thought I had. Night. Night. I just wanted to say this. It's quite simple. It won't take a second. It's this. What I want, need from you, and indeed I get from you, is very different from what, say, Belinda wants from you, or I think can give you. No, I, I'm not running her down or trying to be snide or anything. She's my sister after all, and I do recognize that probably her needs are much more normal than mine. Where I've been so stupid, though, is selfishly to expect us, you and me, to have one thing without the other. Well, what I'm saying bluntly is that uh, sex has played very little part in our brief relationship so far, but it's well nigh impossible, I do see, for a man and a woman to carry on indefinitely without the subject at least cropping up. So uh, even if we succeeded platonically, there'd always be the Belindas of this world who sooner or later snap their fingers, destroy any relationship we built up in ten minutes. So what you're saying is you want one thing but not the other? Well, I've managed without the other extremely well for 38 years, more or less. And I haven't honestly missed it, and, um, well, I feel about it a bit like smoking. It would be stupid to take it up at my age and possibly damage my health when I've done so well so far. I hesitate to say all this to you because men usually take this terribly personally and feel hurt and hit back and accuse me of being frigid or a lesbian, neither of which is true as it happens. I do feel some things very passionately quite often, and I don't fancy a woman cluttering up my bed any more than a man. Still, that's it. I realize I can't have only half, so I'm handing you all back. I'm a bit drunk, or I'd never have said this. I hope it makes sense. If I've hurt you, I'm very sorry. I wouldn't want to do that. Not for the world. I'm very sorry, too. Um, we could... <laughs> well, I know this all sounds very corny, but um, I hope we can continue in some sense. I mean, I really do value your friendship, you know. Oh, thank you. All I'm saying is I wouldn't want to lose that. That's all. No. No good. That's good. That's <laughs> good. Rachel, 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 Rachel,
No, that's all right. That's I've never right. used you behave like this. I really don't. You must believe no, I me. I understand. I understand. <laughs> Why does sex go and spoil everything? <laughs> oh, God, I'm revolting. Have, have you got a, a... Oh, uh, no, no, I'm afraid I... Oh, no, you never do have one, do you? <laughs> that, that little brown parcel there, there's some in there, I think. <laughs> Could you pass me one of those? Well, this one. <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> right, first time. Uh. <laughs> Better? Yes, thank you. Oh, so I'll wrap these up again. No one will know the difference. Whose are they? They were my present to you. Oh, oh, I see. I had them embroidered especially because I knew you never had any, and now you haven't got anything from me at all. No, 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 it's all right. Look, oh, please, God, I'm not... such a mess, aren't I? No, I forgot them. See, I've wrapped them. No, I've forgot them. You see, I've forgot what it is. Good, good heavens, what's this? No idea. Oh, come on, Rachel, Rachel, please. What the hell is going on? Sorry. One thirty. Yes. A.M. Yeah, yes, I'm sorry. We were just wrapping some presents. Uh, uh, who's that? Is that Rachel? Yes. Rachel. Good night. Night. Good night. I don't know what you're up to down there, Morris, but I'll say this. I can't say that I've liked what I've seen. Take my tip, you'll buzz off to bed this minute. Yes, right, right. Yes, I'll just wrap this up. All right. Night. Well, up and down, up and down, as Bernard would say. Aren't you going to bed tonight? Oh, uh, yeah, well, I had hoped to, but there were um, one or two distractions. <laughs> yes, I heard some of them. Oh. Well, sound does tend to travel upwards in this hall if you're not careful. Oh. Well, I must be off. Up. Yes. God, I love you. So oh. much, so much. Shh. I need you. Yes, yes. Come on, come on. Yes, okay, okay. I want you to make love to me now. Yes, okay, okay, come on. I'm here. Now, now. Yes, yes. Oh, I love you. I love, love you, me. I love you. This way, this way, that's please, it. Please, please. Yes, all right, all right. Just, hang on. Just hang on. Oh, God, no. Not in here. Why not? Please, not in here. It's our sitting room. Why not? Oh, I couldn't. Not in our sitting room. Not in the television room. Somewhere else. Oh, oh, let's go away together. Yes. Take me away. Take yes. me away. Yes, I will. Yes. Just the two of us. Yes. Promise me you won't leave. I promise. I promise. Oh, I need you yes, so much. Shh. Won't you? Won't you? Won't you? Where are we going now? Down to the kitchen. Oh, God, no. Not in the kitchen. Shh. I am not making love in a bloody kitchen. I'm too old for that. See him, I promise you. Look at the hell is this? I still don't know what we're looking for. My God, who's this for? Oh, come on. This one's Twiggy. What? From Harvey to Bernard, with resounding good wishes. Twiggy's planning to... What was that? Someone's still. This one and it goes on, you press this one. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
sorry. We uh, just couldn't wait to uh, open our surprise for you. much longer are you no my love no because we're trying to leave for the children's tea you know yes yes just a tip pass us that with your small screwdriver do you think it's still fouling that could be one way to find out excuse me sorry thirty seven minutes left all right I want this all to go smoothly, run through your preview, then when the kids arrive, they'll file in here and sit down in rows on the floor. Uh, how many are we expecting? Just them and their friends. About a dozen, I think. The same as usual. Two rows of six, then. Right. Uh, they see the show. Hooray, hooray, hopefully. And as soon as that's finished, we'll open this door, and there... Here, standing by the tree, who should there be but good old Father Christmas with his sack? Come and get your presents, kids. And he'd better be here. I don't want to go routing him out of his shed like last year. He's upstairs trying on his costume. Who is? Father Christmas. Why, Morris? Oh, it's him, is it? I don't like the sound of that. Then, as soon as they're handed their presents, into here for tea. That'll work. More repairs. More repairs. Ah, jelly. Oh, he used to love jelly. Lucky kids. How's the puppet show? Has he finished his preview? Finished? He hasn't even started. Bloody silly old woman fiddling around with his curtains. Oh, I don't know what this is. Looks like mud. It's very peaceful. Where are the kids? Oh, they're out for a walk. I sent them down to the gravel pit. Gravel pit? Time to go and have a gun battle. Have a shootout with their new guns. Harvey, you're extremely bloodthirsty. Well, why not? They've got to learn. There's going to come a time when any housewife who steps out of her front door without a loaded revolver in her basket will just be asking for trouble. Well, make shopping in Tesco's quite exciting. Gunfight at the OK Sauce Corral. Bird's custard, last stand, the magnificent seven Ah, oh, that was a stupid, that's a stupid thing to say. <laughs> you won't be laughing about it when it happens. What is that you're mending, Neville? I mean, well, you remember that jolly little drumming penguin, one that accidentally got trodden on? Oh dear. He's undergoing surgery. Oh, I can't look at him. That's terrible. He's lost all his little personality. Lost half his bloody little cogs as well. Oh, I can't bear to look at that. I think that's terrible. Are you ready? No. No. Person of word. Huh? Huh? This Morris man. Clive Morris, this uh, writer, what do you make of it? Make of it? Well, last night, be honest, what about all that? I think we were all just a little bit merry last night, weren't we? Don't think we want to dwell too much on that. Nothing happened. Nothing? I trust my wife. Oh, I see, you mean uh, him and her. What else? Well, I wasn't meaning that. I meant the looting. Looting? Three times I caught him at it, ripping open presents, helping himself to the contents. Was he? Oh, come on. I'm sorry, the man is a thief. No, Harvey, he's not a thief. I'm watching him like a hawk, night and day. Look, I've had over 35 years in the security business, I know what I'm talking about. I've seen a million faces like his sweating at you through a stocking mask. They're a type. You get to know them. And another thing... I hear he's going to be Father Christmas now. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Nobody else wanted to do it. What's the harm? Well, between us three, uh, Phyllis had a chat with the man last night, and she gathered, and I trust her instinct. There's a strong possibility the man's a homosexual. Phyllis told you that? He hangs about with engine drivers, apparently. I don't think I'm following this. Neville, for the tenth time, will you please move off this table? Okay, okay. You've got a workshop. Why don't you... Oh, no. Who put this out? What? 
What's this moose doing out of the fridge? Phyllis? Dear God, I wish that bugger would stop helping me. Rachel and I could have done all this in ten minutes. Hello? Do I hear my name? Phyllis, this is frozen moose, dear. Frozen for their pudding. And they are not due to eat until after Bernard's show finishes, which could be any time between now and New Year's Eve. I didn't know it was moose. Then what do you think it was doing in the fridge? Well, I didn't know it was moose, did I? Twelve. There are twelve presents in there. I hope so. There are twelve children. There should be. I'll take those. Oh. Fed up sitting in there. What time he's got, sir? Uh... 32 minutes left. Oh, he's nearly ready. Oh, I don't believe it. You hear that? He's ready. Yes, I've got to finish up now. Uh, he's ready now. You can come in. Show's about to start. A bit tricky at the moment, Harvey. We'll be along in a second. In a second. Well, the show's about to start. Preview is about to start. Where's Phyllis? In the kitchen, destroying something, I should think. Right, I'll fetch her. Please do, get her out of my kitchen. How are you today? You look better. Yeah, I feel better. More positive. Good. Well, I think Eddie's news is home. News? Well, Ned's offered him a job. Did you know that? Who oh, has he? A managership. Managership? Well, that's what he's offered him. Manager of the day. Who? Oh. You sound surprised. No. I just didn't realize he was making a manager. Super. She's crying about something. I don't know what. Moose, I think she said. Right. Are they coming? No. They're not coming? Just us. Well, what about Phyllis? Yes, yeah, she'll probably be in, she says, as soon as she's cleaned some moose off the floor. Uh, for the time being, I'm your only audience, so... Uh, Get on with it. Entertain me. Don't sit on those. Oh, oh, jolly good start, eh? Audience enters and sits on the cast. I'll take those. Now, I've got the characters over here. And the scenery, I'm keeping on that side. Now, all I want you to do is to be ready to pass me either a character or a piece of scenery as I ask for it. There's an awful lot of it. Don't we need someone else? No, no, no. Too many people and you're all in each other's way. It's hopeless. No, the less the better. Now, <laughs> off we go. Your first job will be to do the curtain. You pull this for the curtain, all right? Right. All right. Not yet. Not yet. Let it down, let it down. I'm not ready. Oh. Boo. Oh, do be quiet, Harvey. Well, you've got 28 minutes until the audience arrives. All right. Uh, I haven't got my beginners. Now, pass me the postman and the pig. Right, postman and the pig. And then I'll need... Second pig, very shortly. I'll keep hold of the postman, but you'll be ready to take first pig from me when he comes off, and then hand me second pig. Right, postman and pig. Right. No, that's second pig. I want first pig. That pig, that one there. Oh, wrong pig. These pigs all look the same. 27 minutes. Oh, shut up. Um, do shut up. All right. And curtain. Well, well, well. Hello, children. Tied on the hook. On the hook there. Hello there, children. Hello. Oh, dear. That's not a very big hello. Bet you can make a bigger hello than that. Let's have a big hello. Hello, children. Hello. Get on with it. Um, uh, yes. <clears throat> That's better. Well... Isn't this a lovely day to be a postman here on the village green? Palm, palm, deep palm. Well, good day, Mr. Pig. And what's your name, may I ask? If you please, Mr. Postman, my name is Hubert Pig, and I'm off to build my house, and I'm looking for some straw to build it with. Good day. Oh, I see. Well, well. Good day. Good day. Second pig. Quickly. Second pig. 
Palm, palm, de palm. Good morning, Mr. Pegg. And what's your name, may I ask? If you please, Mr. Postman, my name is Wilfred Pig, and I'm off to build my house, and I'm looking for some sticks to build it with. Good day. Oh, I see. Wow, wow. Good day. Third pig. Third pig. Quickly. Third pig. Well, good day, Mr. Pig. And what's your name, may I ask? This is first pig again. I said third pig. Oh, what happened there? A pig shot on and off. Wait, wait. That one. 25 minutes to go. That's third pig. Well, unless you know them very well, Bernard, it's awfully difficult to tell the difference, honestly. Pom, pom, de pom. Good morning, Mr. Pig. Oh, dear God. And what's your name, may I ask? If you please, Mr. Postman, my name is Ginger Pig, and I'm off to build my house, and I'm looking for some bricks to build it. Ginger? What? Well, is that his name, Ginger? What's wrong with it? Hubert, Wilfred, and Ginger. A bit weak for a pig, isn't it, Ginger? That's what he's called. Look, can we get on, please? It's not at all convincing. Ginger Pig? I'm going to build my house, and I'm looking for some bricks to build it with. Right, take him. Oh. Well, well, well. Three little pigs, all gonna build their houses. Palm, palm, de palm. Curtain down, curtain. Palm, palm, de palm. Come on, come on. All right, all right, I can't do two things at once. Palm, palm, de palm. Jolly good. Well, it's certainly shorter than Alibaba, which is all to its credit. I still think you can trim it a bit. Uh, what about cutting out that ginger pig? That's not the end. Isn't it? That's only scene one. Oh, you mean there's more? Of course. How much more? There's 16 scenes. 16? Yes, come on, come on, change the scenery. Well, you've got 22 minutes and then it's your gala opening, so get your skates on. Now then. Oh, well, if it's an interval, I'll uh, take a stroll. Hello. Good afternoon. Got up at last, have you? That's right, yes. Mm. Well, uh... Oh! Ho, ho, ho! These must be mine. Thought you'd like to know. I've counted every one of those presents in that sack. Oh. Have you really? Thought you'd like to know. Nearly ready. Time you've finished, your audience will have grown up and let go. Oh, hello. Afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. You're up, then? Yes, yes, I uh, <laughs> haven't shaved yet, though, have you, eh? What? Oh, oh, no, no. Pause, <laughs> <laughs> is that, would you? Yeah, that's fine. Right. My God, I didn't know that was on tonight. Wonderful stuff. Right, and ready with the curtain? Ready with the curtain. And curtain up. Oh, good morning. Uh, afternoon. Hello. That looks okay. Thanks so much for doing it. Three minutes and 46 seconds at the end. I promised yesterday I'd do it. I'll do it. Seems the least I can do. Uh, I am the evil wolf, and this is my lair. Uh, oh, God, Rachel. Would you like a cup of tea? Uh, the door of my lair. I've been upstairs thinking a lot about what you said last uh, night. Coffee. Have some coffee. Oh, well, coffee, please. Listen, Wait, Rachel. Why, it's my little dog, Waggons. Come in, Waggons. Waggons? You still here? We're going. We're going. Come here. Come to your master. <laughs> oh, now, this is the one who should have been called Ginger. Listen, Rachel. You don't take sugar, do you? No, no, I don't. Good. Ah, what are you telling me, Waggons? Three little pigs have decided to build houses. In the village, eh? Well, let me have a brief nap first, and then I'll be off to blow down their houses and eat them. Eat their houses? No, the pigs. Oh. Now for my nap. Snore, snore. Boom. What's that? What's that? Snore. Snore. Dee, 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 dee. Boom. Huh? What's that? What's that? Snore. How long's 
this going on for? Just a minute. He's done that twice. Why shouldn't he? Because it's excruciatingly boring. If I were the wolf, I'd eat that bloody dog for a kickoff. No, come and sit down. You're just in time to see the end of this dog. Snore. <laughs> Snore. Snore. Son, Noah. And curtain. Oh, that's not the end. No, no. Hey, you're in luck. There's another 14 scenes yet. You'll have to hurry up, dear. They'll be here in a quarter of an hour. Now, don't you start, Phyllis. I'm going as quick as I can. Hello. Hello. Oh, God, no, please. All right. How many times do I have to ask you? I'm going now, you see? I'm going now. Oh, dear, what's the matter with this? Twelve minutes? Why don't we get some help? You could do with some help. We need another man. This is all too technical. Well, the more people we... Oh, Eddie, can you come, please? I'm helping Nev. Eddie, please. Oh, I've got this. But we're going to be at this all day if you don't come. Please, please, Eddie. Oh, blimey. What's the matter? Can I give you these? I've got to help them. Oh, thanks, Eddie. Fair enough. I don't understand these things, you see. Uh, look, Neville. Santa, what can I do for you? Well, I think something needs to be said about last night. No need. Well, I think there is. We were all drunk. You were drunk, she was drunk, so was I. Forget it. Well, look, we really weren't that drunk. I think I'd prefer it if you were. <laughs> Sorry? Well, let's put it this way. If I thought for one moment that you'd been down there on my floor, in my hall, under my Christmas tree, trying to screw my wife while you were both stone cold sober, that would put a very different complexion on things. Because in that case, I promise I would start to take you to pieces, bit by bit. And as for her, she'd be back on social security before she had time to pull her knickers up. OK, Santa? Good lad. Uh, yes? Uh, uh, nothing. No, right. There. You've done it. Well done. Hooray. On we go. We're going on. Well, you've a little over nine minutes to do 14 scenes. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. True. Right. I want Waggums, then the Wolf, and then first Peter. Right? Uh, here's Waggums. What am I doing? Uh, you can help with the transformation. The what? And curtain. Oh. Hooray! Oh, look, there's a little haystack. Look. No, it's not. It's his house. It's a straw house. Oh, yes. Woof! 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 No, the funny dog's back again. <laughs> woof! Woof! <laughs> wolf. Wolf, Patty. Wolf. 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 Wolf, Patty, wolf! Oh, wolf, I'm sorry, I thought you said wolf. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 oh, 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 dear. I'm sorry. Careful, would you kindly watch your stomach? Well, I can't help it, can I? Well, hold it in. Can't you hold it in? No, I can't hold it in. If I could hold it in, I would. All right. She's pregnant, Bernie. Shut up! I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry. That dog is now three feet off the ground. All right. It's now lost all credibility. Ha-ha! So this is the little straw house, Waggons. We'll soon blow this down. Oh, hello, Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig. Pig. First pig. Oh, God, first pig. Oh, stupid girl. She's stupid, stupid. I love that little thing in the corner. Well. There, that little animal in the corner there. Looks like a little caterpillar. It's terribly well made. That's my thumb. Come on, come on. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, yeah. Hello there. Who's that knocking on the door of my... You silly, stupid woman. You stupid, silly, clumsy, silly, stupid woman. Bernie, dear. You see what she did? You see what she did? Six minutes? Well, do you want this or don't you? Hello. Who's that knocking on the door of my... This is the wrong pig again. Why do you keep giving me the wrong pig, you fool? Don't you keep calling me a fool? Oh, there we are. We've had it all now. Flying pigs. How can I do this show properly if these stupid people keep giving me the wrong pigs? Well, Pig one, pig one, this is pig one! <laughs> Don't you shout at her like that! You find you're a stupid pig! Oh, Bernard, dear, if I... Shut only... up! Oh, dear, dear, I wish you wouldn't shout. Well, that's that, isn't it? That's that. Patty? Patty? Yes? Look, if you... If you want me, I'll be out the back with Nev, OK? Right. Well, are you going on, dear? 
I don't know what to do. Well, you've got three minutes, so make up your mind. Oh, don't be idiotic, Harvey. How can I finish this playoff in three minutes? So it's idiotic. Oh, come on, then. I'll show you. I'll show you how to finish your play. It's perfectly simple. Give me the hose. So watch what you're doing. Careful, Harvey. Mind him. Here's your ending. Ha, ha, ha. Good morning, Mr. Pig. I can't do eat you. Hey, really, Mr. Wolf? Well, take that. Bash! Oh. Bam! Oh. 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 Bit. Oh. Whack! <laughs> Good enough for you! <laughs> it's so very much scare-making, though. <laughs> you are a lonesome man, Harvey, oh, you really are. You're almost totally negative, do you know that? And that's such an easy thing to be, isn't it? So long as you stay negative, you're absolutely safe from laughter or criticism. Because you've never made anything or done anything that people can criticize. All they can really say about you is that you're a snob, a bigot, a racist, a chauvinist, and an ignorant, insensitive, narrow-minded, intolerant human. It's what? Very well. We shall see. We'll see who's negative. Huh? We'll see. You'll all be glad of me sometime. Laugh now, but you'll see. Oh, dear. Dramas. Holy. Oh, dear. There, I warned you to take ages. It takes a woman like me to make a mockery of the words instant coffee. What are you going to do with me? I don't know. I don't know. Rachel. Yes. Just a minute, please. Listen, Clive, if you have something of great importance to say to me, do you think you could possibly take that beard off? Oh, It'll don't. make it easier to drink your coffee as well. Look, I just want you to know, whatever anyone says, I wasn't drunk last night. Weren't you? I was. Look, last night... Yes? You mustn't blame yourself, Rachel. You really mustn't. No. I understand, you see. Uh, my God, I'm a writer. I should understand. <laughs> if I don't understand... You've been feeling guilty because you felt you'd been holding back on me. Failing to give me something you felt I needed from you. Am I right? Yes, I think so. Yeah, I, yes, I, but I you must understand, Rachel. What you felt I needed to have from you, that part of you that you felt I needed to have from you, yourself, if you like... Yes. Well, you see, Rachel, I never wanted anything. Oh. Not from you. Ah. So all I'm saying is you mustn't feel guilty. No. And if I gave you the impression that I did, what would I thought you thought I did, then I'm sorry. It's my fault, that's all. Yes. God, I just need to get away and try and sort myself out. I'll do this for you and for the kids, and I'll go. I'll creep away to that station. I'll vanish from your life. You'll be sitting there for a long time if you go now. There are no trains till tomorrow. Oh, hell. Well, I'll catch the first one in the morning. The first one? Yes. That's 6.06. Perfect. Nobody catches the 6.06. I will. OK, I'll run you to the 6.06. Oh, no, please. On my own. I don't want anyone with me, please. All right, can I lend you an alarm clock? Is that allowed? Thank you. Well, you've been marvellous. After my behaviour, I can hardly bear to look you in the face. It's my fault. It's all my fault. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. This has always happened to me. The more I try and apologise for me, the more other people accuse me of making them feel guilty. This always seems to happen to my relationships. No, look, I Rachel, must get on. I'm sorry. Oh, God, what a mess. What a mess. Why do I do these things? Why? Why? The kids are all here. Can I bring them through? Is that all right with everyone? Right. I'm bringing them through. What are you going to do, dear? Uh, well, the show must go on. The show must go on. <laughs> Thank you. 
lost our strength. doing out so early? Oh, uh, I couldn't sleep. Oh. Well, that's not actually true. I could sleep, only Harvey gave us this wretched alarm clock for Christmas blasting when it chose to go off at some extraordinary hour. Ridiculous. Phyllis slept on. So I thought I'd get up and load my stuff when I saw the snow. You know. Snow? Yes, it's snowing quite hard. Oh, Dan, have you seen Clive? Is he up yet? Clive? No, I don't think so. I'm running into the station. We better start early if it's like this. I lent him my alarm. It's pretty darn by now. I should have lent him mine. I'm going up again. I won't try and load through the stops. Bother to give him the lock. Oh, would you? Very quietly. Thanks. I'd better defrost. All right. You know, it just occurred to me, maybe because it's so early in the morning, I really am a dreadful failure, you know. Oh, no. Yes, really and truly. Is it because of the show yesterday? Well, maybe partly that. I mean, let's face it, the poor little blighters were utterly bored to tears, weren't they? I hate to say it, but Harvey was right. Absolutely right. He has a thoroughly unpleasant way of putting things, but he was right. I really mustn't do any more of them, and that's enough. Perhaps you could do something else. No, no, you get out of touch with children, you see. If you don't have any yourself. Phyllis and I really should have had some. Well, she's so very weak physically, you see. Maybe I should have done something about that, but I'm not a very good doctor either. I don't think I've killed anyone, mind you. Not to my knowledge. I hope not. But I honestly don't think I've cured many people either. Just left things very much as they were. Oh, well. Hello? Clive? Is that Rachel? Yes. Good morning. Who's that? It's Bernard. I'm just off up. Oh, right there. Goodbye. Uh, it was very nice to have met you. I'll, I'll try and read your book if I've got a moment. Oh, I, I shouldn't bother. Really? Really. Bye. I told you not to get up. Good job I did. It's snowing. Oh, no. Here. What's that? Sandwiches. Oh, I don't need You sandwich. will on that train. It stops everywhere. You don't get to London till Thursday. Well, thank you. Oh, wait till you see the sandwiches. Mm, my culinary skills to the fore. Took me all last night. Three-inch slices of best white bread. Oh, um, by the way, it's bound to be freezing, too. I bought you this down. Please, take it. You sure? I mean, it is a woman's balaclava. It's okay. It's this woman's. Look, Clive. Yes? There's something I have to say. Oh. Before you go, what you said yesterday to me about what you felt you thought I felt you needed, well, I think I know why you said it. You said it because of what I said to you the night before about what I felt, didn't you? Yes. Y yes, I think so. A about me not being able to give you me because of how I felt. Yes. Well, the fact is I do want to give it, if you want it. You see, I think I only said I didn't want to give it because I felt you didn't want it. I think so. So... I, I'm sorry, it's, um, it's a bit early in the morning. Um, well, I don't know if that changes anything. God. I've made such a mess of things. Story of my life. Look at me. I'm a writer. A writer, for God's sake. Every time something of value comes up. Oh. oh, Rachel. Oh, it's, oh, it's getting to be a habit now. I'm beginning to enjoy it. Oh, damn it. What? My new handkerchiefs. I've left them upstairs. I told you, I'm always losing handkerchiefs. Leave them. Not on your life. They're my Christmas present from you. Now, hang on. I'll post them. No, no. All right. I'll start the car. I'll be outside.
there, don't move. I am armed. Oh, I said stay still. Gotcha. What the hell? Caught him trying to make off. Oh, you I picked him off, didn't I? You fool. You totally not a fool. What's happened? Look what he's done. Look what this fool's done. Oh, my God. What's happening? Stay there, Paddy Bell. Keep her up there. Stay here. Dead. That gun big enough to blow a hole in you the size of a dinner plate. Oh, dear God. What happened? All right, Rachel. All right, now keep calm. Was this him? Did he do this? All right, calm me now till we know. Did you do this? No, he, he was looting again. He was definitely looting. He was leaving. Leaving? Catching a train. What, in a mask? Catching a train in a mask? It is not a mask. It's a balaclava helmet. Well, they wear those too, Savannah. Some of those heavy lads who wore balaclavas. And some of them probably wore shoes as well. Look, I better phone. I can't tell if he's breathing. Is he breathing? I don't know, love. I'm not a doctor. Oh, Bernard is. Where's Bernard? I can't hear him breathing. It's all right. Eddie told me. It's all right now. Let me see him. Rachel, would you just stand away? Is he alive, Bernard? That's what we want to know. Is he still alive? Rachel, would you please stand back? Well, clear. Thank you. I better phone anyway. Oh, God, what's the number? Number of what? The number you're supposed to dial. What number? My brain's gone numb. It's three figures. Come on. Nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. Thank you very much, Rachel. Look at me. Can't get my bloody fingers in the holes here. Well? I'm afraid this man is dead. <gasps> oh, dear. I'm sorry. No, he's not. He's still alive. He's still alive. No, he's still alive. Dear God, what a failure. I can't even get that right. He's bleeding out. He's got a deep red arm on his shoulder. You can't tell. Look, couldn't we run into the hospital rather than sitting here waiting? I don't know. Bernard? Bernard? Yes? Can we move him? Don't ask me. I'm the last person to ask. Yes, I think we could move him. Yes, we'll risk it. I'll get some towels. Yes, perhaps if we all lifted him, we could... Yes, if we use Bernard's station wagon, we could lie him in the back. Bernard? Yes? Carkey, please, and give us a hand. All right. Rachel, you take his feet, and I'll take this end with Bernard. Bernard! Yes, of course. Here. Don't ask me to drive. No, you better come with me, though. All right. 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 A lot of fuss over a looter, that's all I can say. Here. Just a minute. What? He's saying something. He's trying to say something. What's he saying? Shh. I want you. I need you so much. Belinda. Belinda. He's delirious. Yes. He means you. He's got us muddled up. He's saying my name, but it's definitely you he wants. Yes. Well, it really doesn't matter to me one way or the other. Come on, then. Let's get him out of the car. Mind his head through the door. Yes, mind his head. All right, all right. Sit down as well. That's all we need. All we need is snow. Oh, it's freezing. That's right, Harvey. You're going to lie down then. Good. What do you want here? Oh, shit. Look! The bullet went.
going right through his suitcase. Good Lord. Probably saved his life, but ruined his laundry. They're taking him down the infirmary. I said I'd phone the police. Do you still have to? Yeah. Well, if I don't, the hospital will. Mm. Can't go around shooting your guests, you know, whatever you might think of them. You can put that in his book, anyway. Well, I'm going to make some tea. Fine. No, you see, the bullet went through the case and... I don't know. What? It went straight through here, see? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he hit this. What's that? Kid's Christmas cassette player, the one I rigged up for them. Oh, look at that. What a mess. See if I can get the capstan. Nev. As long as he missed the motor. Nev, you gonna phone? Yeah, yeah, in a sec, in a sec. Hey, about Eddie. Yeah? Did you offer him this job with you? Yeah, why? Patty said you offered him manager. Manager? Of the new branch. You're joking. The other. No, I hope. She said he swore you had. I would not bring manager, not Eddie. He wouldn't be able to cope with all that. No, I just told him I was opening a new branch and I need staff, that's all. Well, that's all right. I was going to say. <laughs> Hope he's all right. Who? Clive. Hope he's all right. Oh, yeah. He'll be all right. He's got Rachel, hasn't he? Yes. He's got Rachel. <laughs> 